So for this screencast, we're going to take a look at what net force is. And the baseball player down here at the bottom of the screen has something to do with the, the topic of force, but then also net force. The learning target for this particular episode is I can demonstrate what net force is by completing a frame game vocabulary diagram. So what is net force? Well, first of all, whenever forces act on an object in opposite directions, like a book on a table, the net force is equal to the difference between the two forces. Now, if two forces are acting on an object in the same direction, the net force is equal to the sum of the two forces. And then lastly, when we define net force, it's the overall force acting on an object that takes into account all of the individual forces acting on the object. So we have a few pictures here. Um, the first one in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a cube or like an ice cube. But you can picture that immersed in something like water. And you can see right now that we've got forces that are acting on this cube in all directions. And right now these forces seem to be pretty balanced. So there is a chance that our net force might be zero. They might cancel each all, uh, all of them out and it might stay in the same place. And you can see down here with our big dog and our little doggy, uh, we've got a little tug of war going on. And this guy back here doesn't seem to want to get too involved. But we'll see we've got one force of the big dog that's heading to the right here with a force of 12 newtons. And then over here, we've got a little doggy with uh, is pulling with a force of 10 newtons. So these forces are going in the opposite direction. And that means that ultimately the big doggy is going to win because he's going to be at a 2 newton advantage. And so everything is going to move this way uh, because the force is greater heading in this direction. And up here we've got a different situation where we've got two forces here acting on each other towards each other. And so uh, when you're watching and viewing through Edpuzzle, uh, you're going to kind of tell me what you think the net force is and then what direction the book uh, we'll be traveling. The final step for working with net force is I want you to create a frame game for the term in your science notebook. Make sure when you create your frame game that you include at least one colorful image and just like some of the other ones we've done in the back of your book you can find in the resource page on R51 an example of a frame game to help get you started. And if you find that you're not exactly sure what to do, uh, just call me over and I'll help you and your team out. Thanks for listening. May the force be with you. <laughs>